What's up, it's you. For today's video, with a full Voltorb Evolution Team Super Bowser, this one is for you. I'll be using Voltorb, Electrode, and Electrode and Voltorb Hisawain form to have a team of four. Now, these Pokemon don't actually get any different abilities. We still have Soundproof, Static, and Aftermath. So this is quite a tricky team to use with the Pokemon's typing and the moves that they actually get, it provided a very, very uh, tough challenge. I've got four battles today with the Voltorb Evolution Team. I hope you enjoy. Uh, first battle today, this one is against Hunt Down, and we have a Sandile lead. Now, my first little set here is Voltorb. It runs off just one electric move, but I'll get onto that strategy a little bit later on because I'm actually going to be walled here by Sandal. Now, funnily enough, Sandal is going to be going for a Snarl, and I've got Soundproof on the set, which is really cool and uh, very, very lucky. So I've got Charge, Giga Drain, Leech Seed, and Foul Play. Max Self and Max Defense is my EV spread, and I've got Bold Nature, and the item is Everlight too. So it's a tanky Voltorb hiss away form. But question of the day, what do you think about Voltorb and Electro? Do you like the hiss away forms? Like, what one do you like better? Or do you like them all? I, I think they're all pretty cool Pokemon. Uh, anyway, that's the end of the Sandal, and we're going to have a Noibat coming in here. So I'm just going to be going for foul play. Noibat is going to be going for a double team. Funny enough, Noibat was like the first... I'm trying to think... Noibat was actually the first Dynamax Pokemon I ever went for on Sword and Shield. I just, I always remember that. It's the very first raid I ever did was a uh, was a Noibat. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to keep going for the foul play over and over again here. This Noibat has got Heat Wave, so it does have a, uh, a way to hit me with. Now, with its typing, it actually... I, look, it opens it up to more weaknesses being electric and grass typing, where the normal Electrode and Voltorb are just electric typing. Next Pokemon is Voltorb. Now I can show you what this set is. It is a Thunder Wave, Electro Ball, Agility, and Mirror Coat set. The ability is going to be Static, and the item is Focus Sash, Max Special Attack, and Max Speed Modest Nature. So. What I did is I tried to paralyze the opponent and then go for uh, agility and then go for electro ball. Obviously, the more faster you are in your opponent, you're going to be doing more damage. Unfortunately, it's a Mareep, so I won't be doing lots and lots of damage. Plus, the Mareep has got agility, so I'm like, oh, well, I can't do much here at all. So, as you can see, electro ball is going to be doing donkeys to M Mareep Ramses. And it's going to go for Charge Beam. So its Charge Beam is doing way more damage than I'm going to do uh, to it. So I was like, well, the next turn I'm going to actually go for a Mirror Coat. So here comes another Charge Beam here. It does a good amount of damage to Voltorb. Now, I was thinking, even if I don't faint it, Mirror Coat should do some you know, really good damage. And it actually was enough to take it out. So it was very, very nice having Mirror Coat on there. Very, very handy um, to have that. Uh, it's just like a backup. Next Pokemon is Eagly Buff. I'm going to go for Electro Ball. That almost takes it out in one shot. Wait, Eagly Buff's name doesn't, like, it has Eagly Buff, but there's not, like, another F on the end. That's, that's, that's weird. Anyway, so that's the end of my uh, Voltorb. We're going to go into Electrode. I really like Shiny Electrode. Uh, looks really, really cool. Oh, oh, I mean, all the Shinies look great. So this Electrode, it's a Pip Night Special. we got a physical set. So Explosion, Wild Charge, Rollout, and Facade. My item is Normal Gem. The ability is Soundproof. And the EV spread is Max Attack, Max Speed, Adam Nature. You really do need Adam Nature because it is, uh, yeah, it doesn't hit very hard. So here comes the Meowth here, the Galar Meowth. And Galar Meowth is going to go for a fling, and it's got a light ball. So this, I'm guessing this strategy is, uh, you know, heavily countered because obviously I'm being uh, all electric types. So I went for Explosion because it was the best, most damaging move that I had here. And I thought it would be almost enough to take it out, but it wasn't. So that's the end of my Electro. And I was kind of curious what other moves this had, but it seemed to only have used Fling. So I'm not sure what the other uh, strategy was behind that. Maybe my typing countered it or something. So my last Pokemon is Electro and hits away. And this has got the cool new move, Chloroblast. So Chloroblast is like a... Uh, Basically, it's a steel, ver it's a steel ver like steel beam, but it's a grass version of that. Um, in this case, I didn't want to use Chloroblast because I wanted to use uh, Terra Water. So Terra Water I found on Electrode is Wayne is probably the best Terra you can run. It gives you the most options. So you've already got an electric move with like 
Um, in this case, I got Thunder and Charge Beam. I had Chlorobast as a Grass Smooth and then Terra Blast Water for a bit of coverage. That's going to be enough to take out the uh, the Galar Meowth there. Now, the item I had on this was Citrus Berry and the ability was Aftermath. So, I wanted to use all the abilities. So, so the last Pokemon is going to be the Growlithe. Now, I went for Terra Blast Water. I'm like, well, this should take it out. And it had a Focus Ash. I'm like, okay. I did expect something like that. Now, the Growlithe is going to be going for Reverse. I'm like, oh, 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 no. That does heaps of damage. It almost takes me out. It was very, very, very close. I, I, I'm assuming that was definitely like, I'd say, brave or out of a nature. And I just leave that one narrowly, and that is enough to take out the Growlithe. Uh, with uh, on, on one health with the Terra Blast, and that is the end of the first battle. A really cool baby, like a baby Pokemon team there. And uh, yeah, thank you, Hunt Down, for the battle. A really cool team. And I was I was actually quite lucky. I had a couple of soundproof Pokemon uh, there. I think my typing quite helped out too, being electric. Next Pokemon battle. This one is against Molotov Hunter, and we have a Typhlosion Lee. Now this is this is actually a four v four battle. Um, I'm going to be going for a Thunder Wave on the Typhlosion this one. Also, people, if you enjoy the videos, if you want us to help support the channel, make sure you hit that like button. Only takes a second there, and uh, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think about Electrode. You like the Hisuian Electrode or like normal one? I've always, I've always actually quite liked uh, Electrode in general. I think it was a pretty cool Pokemon. I know, and it's, it's quite a base. Obviously, it's quite a basic design though. It always uh, reminds me of the uh, episode, the Pokemon anime episode. I if you can remember back in the originals, it was called the Great Race, and there was, um, it was like a base. It was like, uh, you know, Ash was in like a, a race, and he was on Ponyta. And, you know, it evolved into Rapid Ash, and you know, there was this boy right, and um, he was actually riding on the electrode, and you know, it was going down a hill. And it was like, you know, it was on top of the Electrode, and then Electrode hit a ditch and it exploded. Like, it was very, very funny. Anyway, so I've got this rollout Electrode, which I thought was quite appropriate. And I was thinking, I might be able to get some roll-ups happening here. So this is a Gyro Ball Typhlosion, only on Peter Shadow. And uh, I'm just going to keep going for a rollout over and over and over again. And I'm hoping I can, maybe the fourth hit will take it out. So unfortunately, the Typhlosion, it's going to be a troll set, is going to have Confuse Ray. So I really don't want to hit myself with Confusion because that will reset all the rollouts that I just did. Here comes the rollout number three, and that almost takes out. So I need like one more. Here comes another Gyrobal. Lots of ball animations at the moment. There's a lot of balls here. You know, there's there's there's, uh, there's a little ball, a bigger ball, a little ball, and a bigger ball. Again, there's plenty of balls in this battle. And we got Gyrobal, and we got you know, Electro Ball. Man, anyway, so I'm going to go for another Another rollout, rollout number, that was number four, and that is the end of the Typhlosion his way. Next Pokemon here is going to be Thanos, I mean Thanatos, and it is a entire team of Typhlosion, so it is four Typhlosion his way. So anyway, that uh, Thanos took the uh, it took the full blow there. That was the uh, the maximum damage rollout, and it is going to get one shot, and it got snapped. Next Pokemon is going to be Typhlosion. Well, it's another Typhlosion, and I'm going to be going for rollout again. It's a Dig Typhlosion. So Typhlosion actually gets quite a good array of uh, physical moves. It's going to be a Power Herb Dig set. And uh, yeah, that's going to be enough to take out Electro, so that's bye-bye. I've got two more Pokemon left. We've got Voltorb. It's like, all right, we'll see if we can get this, uh, you know, this, this tanky, tanky Voltorb going. I was hoping it didn't have any fire moves. Here comes a, a smoke screen. What is this set? Smoke screen and dig. Here comes Foul Play, and Foul Play has absolutely decimated Typhlosion with a crit. That's pretty funny. So that's the end of Typhlosion. There's one more Typhlosion left. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's Wispy, a Wisp. A wispy, and uh, here we go. We got a, a, a Terra Typhlosion. I'm actually very terrified here. Now, uh, funnily enough, this Typhlosion was apparently meant to be a Typhlosion Terra type poison, but this one was a Terra type fire. So I'm like, well, at this stage, I think Ember is gonna one shot me. I went for the Leech Seed, and I got uh, I got a miss there, which kind of sucks. Uh, this is gonna be going for a Terra Blast Fire. And uh, yeah, that's going to be uh, doing a lot of damage. So I was like, yeah, Voltorb won't with that. And that's the end of Voltorb. So I'd say it's coming off a special move too. Even a physical move, I'd say that would have one shot at me. My Voltorb isn't exactly what you call the most bulky Pokemon. So the Typhlosion takes a little bit, bit of the black sludge damage there. Now, at this stage, I have to go for Terra, uh, Terra Water on Electro. And I was like, this should do a, a good chunk of damage. Will it take Typhlosion out? Mm, 
I don't I don't really know, right? So anyway, I'm going for the Terra Water. Uh, I know that I'll be able to outspeed that. I guess the good thing about Electrode is it's a very fast Pokemon. So I'm going for that Electrode uh, Terra Water. It just lives, and the Typhlosion is going to go for a scummy day. Now, if that got that sunny day off first, that would have been very, very bad. Um, I don't think I had any other moves to hit me with. And it turned out the Black Sludge took the Typhlosion out. That was just a salty finish there. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the battle. Molotov taking the battle. And um, I I'll probably be a little bit salty about that uh, Black Sludge KO. If that was me, I, I would be. Let's get on to battle number three here. This is a battle against uh, Leeton. Uh, and we got a Murkrow Lee here. So Murkrow is a pretty good matchup for Voltorb. I can go for Electric type moves like, well, I'll try and go for Thunder Wave. However, the Murkrow is going to be using Taunt. So I will not be able to use any of my other moves. Now, also, I won't be able to use Mirror Coat either. Uh, now the Murkrow is going to go for Feather Dance, I guess. Maybe you think I could be running a uh, physical set or it doesn't have too much to do. It's maybe just a support style set. And now it's going to go for a Perish Song. So, so far I choose Taunt, Perish Song, and Feather Dance. So... I'd have to assume maybe it has uh, some other status move as well, like this pure stall. Uh, anyway, so I shook the Torn off there, which is good. Uh, the Perish count is down to three. Now the Murkrow is going to be going for a Taunt again. So Voltorb, I just went for attacking moves. So I thought, well, Murkrow is probably going to go Taunt again when I go for Thunder Wave or Agility. So that is the end of the, uh, the little Murkrow. I don't think that crit mattered there at all. And this team is pretty cool because it is... Also, an evolution team. It is two Murkrows and two Honscrows. I don't know whether I've... I don't actually know whether I've done this team for... A, a real, like, avid Pitmite viewer would know if I've done this team. I believe that I haven't. And uh, it, sometimes it's hard to remember when you've done, like, 1,600 theme teams. Anyway, so I got a static there on the U-turn, which is pretty cool. And uh, Murkrow is going to be swapping out uh, there with the U-turn. Actually, I'm positive that I haven't done a Murkrow evolution team yet. Anyway, in comes Murkrow, and uh, sorry, uh, Honchkrow, and I, oh, sorry, I got my crows mixed up there, and I shook the Taunt off, so I've got some good damage there, however, my Perish Song is going to put me to zero, but I was pretty happy with Voltorb's performance. So we're going to bring in Voltorb his way in this time, and now I don't have much to do, I can go for Leech Seed, and that's kind of about it. Now, Murkrow can be pretty good on the physical and special side, both of them. It's going to be a, a Night Slash set, but I take that really, really well. I was like, damn, that, that bulky Voltor, man. That max health and max defense, you know, it's uh, helping me out. So I've got Leech there going, which is good. Um, I just went for foul play here with my best move, and it still is doing all right damage when you take into effect, uh, you know, the Leech Seed after it. Now, the Honch Crow has got Wing Attack too, so Wing Attack is not going to be enough to take me out. I thought it, I was thinking it might have Brave Bird and then I could fake it with Recall, but... I don't know. I, uh, maybe Voltor would have lived that if I had a little bit more health. It would have been uh, pretty close. So I managed to get around the Honchko with a combination of, you know, bulky defensive Voltorb and a Leech Seed and uh, Foul Play. So that was, uh, that was pretty cool. So that's the end of the first Honchko. And we got the pink Honchko and the pink Murkrow left. Actually, not bad, shiny Pokemon. Next is going to be the Murkrow. It's already paralyzed from before. I just went for Foul Play again. Foul Play was enough to take it out, which is good. So there's one more Honchko left, and I've still got three more balls left, you know. It's always good to have a couple of extra balls in stock. Now, Honchko is going to be using Heat Wave. Like, ah, okay, that's going to hurt. Now, I don't know whether that was a... I don't know whether it's like a Super Lux set or whatever, but... I don't think that crit mattered because I was more defensive. So I'm going to be going for the Electrode here. I was like, now I was thinking to go for Terra Normal Electrode because this Electrode has Normal Gem as its item and Terra Normal. And I was thinking if I do that and there's a, a bad Terra matchup, I could regret it. So I decided not to and I'm very, very glad that I did because it turned out Hodgecrow was a Terra Steel and that was going to resist my explosion for sure. However, my explosion, you know, with the normal gem, it's actually still did really good damage there. I, obviously, the Terra wouldn't have taken out, but that was some very, very impressive damage there. So that is the end of Electro. It went for a Dark Pulse there. So it's like a fully special uh, punch crow. So the last Pokemon is Electro. Now, I want to go for Chloroblast, but I was like, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go for Terra Water and just go for Terra Blast Water. I don't want to risk, like, Charge Beam or Thunder. I mean, Charge Beam probably won't fade it because... Electrode special attack isn't 
really the highest stat out there, right? So we're going to be going for a Terra Blast Warder on the Honchko, and that is the end of the Honchko. Now, if I went for Terra Normal Explosion there, I may not have got that. I, I still could have lost. It was a very, very close battle there in the end. It was also a 4v4 too. Hope you're enjoying the battle so far, people. That is battle number three. Now we've got battle number four. This one is against Super Bowser. So he wouldn't have a go against his team team. And we've got a Uxy lead. So we got Voltorb versus Uxy. What could possibly go wrong? So we got an Uxy using Metro. I'm like, oh no. So here comes the Metro. It's going to be Throat Chop. Does, does, does Voltorb even have a throat? You, to have a throat, wouldn't you need to have a neck? I don't think, uh, I mean, when you look at Voltorb, I, I don't see it. It's, it's just a face, you know? Anyway, so I got a Paralyze there with the Thunder Wave, which is good. And I thought it might be a good time to set up the agilities and get this going right. So Uxie is going to be Paralyzed again there, which is very, very good. I'm going to be going for another agility. So Voltorb is currently like, very, very fast now. So I'm going to be doing lots and lots of damage. So here comes another Metro from the Uxie again. Now, this time it actually gets Misty Terrain. That's not really going to affect any of my moves at all. There's there's no Dragon moves around. So the Mist is on the field, and here comes the Electro Ball. It, it's like a three-hit KO still, because, you know, Uxie is a very, very bulky Pokemon. Now, funnily enough, the Uxie actually got Slack off. You know, that's a move that it actually could have, because when you look at it, it's like sleeping. So... That'd be, uh, that'd be a really, really powerful move if I actually, actually learned that. We are talking about that the other day, too. Um, like, sleepy Pokemon getting uh, the the, um, the move slack off. Like, you know, slaking getting slack off and stuff like that. Uh, anyway, Uxie's going to go for a coaching. However, coaching is going to fail because it is not a doubles battle. And that is the end of the metronoming, slack offing, throat chopping Uxie. Uh, that's the end of the miss from the field, too. Next Pokemon is Kaka Binks. That's my car. That's my uh, car Bink nickname. I, I can't wait to use Carbink again. For some reason, it was one of the Pokemon that you could actually now use. I mean, you could transfer it through for some reason. I have no idea. Maybe that's a hint towards, like, the DLC or something like that. Uh, anyway, the tiny Carbink, like the size of a pebble, is going to take me out with a Rock Blast. So, bye-bye, uh, Voltop. It also has the uh, Leftos as their item, like Uxie, too. They both have Leftos. So, I'm going to bring a Voltorb. This is the bulky defensive set. Out goes the Carbink. You know, very, very scared of my... Uh, uh, I guess my Giga Drain, you know. In comes Fennekin. So Fennekin's going to be able to eat that Giga Drain like a snack. And it's going to go for Flame Charge. So it already outsped me because I'm running a tanky set. So the best thing I was thinking is I could go Leech Seed. And then I could, I guess I could possibly go for Foul Play after that. Um, I don't know what other fire moves or, you know, what moves in general this Fennekin actually has. It's, I think this could be the first time we've seen a Fennekin in my theme team for a long time. Because it hasn't been in the game. Now... On that topic, I will be doing a Fennekin Evolution team because I haven't done one for a very long time. I think it was since Gen... I think I did one in Gen 6, and I thought, you know, it's been out of the game for many, many years. I wouldn't mind redoing that team, you know, uh, with Del Fox and stuff like that. So I hope you're looking forward to that one. There's so many more forms and evolution teams that are coming up here um, with all the new Pokemon. So this seems to be an Ember and Flame Charge set, and that's going to be the end of the Fennekin. It's going to be fighting. I was worried about a little bit more of a powerful fire move, but it never happened. So in comes uh, the uh, car beat. I went for Giga Drain. I don't even think it's health bar. went down, but uh, I got some health back anyway, which is good. I think I got a solid 10 health back there. Now, Carbink's going to go for a Rock Blast. Rock Blast is not going to be doing very much damage to me because I'm very defensive. And yeah, uh, I don't think Carbink can really do much here. Unless it's got some sort of like hidden move up its sleeve or something. If it's got little sleeves under under its tiny little uh, rock sleeve. Maybe it's got like some little crystal uh, crystal legs that come out there. Anyway, so Carbink's going to be going for a Stealth Rock and putting them on the field. That's going to be bad for my Electrodes that haven't come into this matchup yet. This is quite a lengthy battle due to this uh this uh, tanky carping. Uh, so anyway, um, I'm gonna get some leech seeds. I like how the leech seeds that you can see the bottom of the. I don't know. I feel like the sprouts need to come out of the need to come out of the carping's body instead of just being like produced out of thin air. You know, the bottom they're just coming out of thin air. It'd be better if it was like attached to the Pokemon. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to take some Stealth Rock damage. It turned out that Carbink was hiding a Moonblast. I was like, oh, no. So now my Electro is going to get hit hard and have a special attack drop. So I'm like, all right. Uh, my best move to use here is going to be uh, Chloroblast. So I was like, I could go for Chloroblast and take out the Carbink, or I could Terra my Electro here. 
I wasn't really sure what to do at this stage. I did get a little bit of health back there from the Leech Sheet, which is good. So I would have a bit of health left after I did use Chlorobrass. I think Chlorobrass is a pretty cool move. So here it comes there, a green Hyper Beam. Now, someone was pointing out the other day with some of the other signature moves, the Origin Pulse looked exactly like another move. I forgot what it was, but it was an Origin Pulse. But yeah, there was a literal move that had that was exactly the same. It was a legendary move, but it was just like a different color. Anyway, so I went for a Chlorobas here on the Electrode, and it is going to be going for an Explosion. The Explosion is, uh, well, it's not going to be doing anything at all. Uh, it's going to be blowing up the Electrode. I don't have any Pokemon on the field there, so... That's the end of the Electrode, and that's the, uh, well, that, that's it, that my Electrode already played it. So, next Pokemon is my Electrode. I'm thinking, all right, I want to go for Explosion this time. Like, let's see what we got next. Next Pokemon is Electrode. So, there's two Electrodes on this team. It's a, it's two balls on the field rolling around there. So, we got a Terra Electrode uh, here. So, I was kind of curious what the uh, the Terra on this one would be, and it's going to be a Terra Grass. I'm like, ah, oh, I bet you this is going to have Chloroblast. I absolutely can guarantee it. So I was going for Explosion here, and that was the move. I was going for Terra Normal Explosion. If I connected my Explosion, I knew that would be enough to take out Electro. Now, this battle was a 4 versus 5, too. So it wasn't quite... It was still a 4 versus 5, so it wasn't like a, a normal... Si you know, 4 versus 6 or 4 versus 4. So uh, we got a Chlorobas Electro outspeeding me. I was running Adamant. That's, I'd say that's why I got outspeed. And Chloroblast takes out my Electrode in one shot before I could go boom. Now, there's going to be some nasty damage from the uh, opposing Chloroblast. Like, All right, I've got Voltorb left. It's a bulky set. I wonder what moves they really have to use against me apart from other uh, Chloroblast. So here comes Chloroblast. I lived on three health. And Electrode is going to take itself out. And yeah, that's the end of the battle. The bulky ball managed to live the Chloroblast there. Thank you for the battle, Super Bowser. I'd probably be a little bit salty too. Peace out, people.